Mercer. And now Graceland. No. Mercer in the middle of um, two tens, and now the 14, Rekha Naguni chasing it. Oh, and it's Graceland who'll pick it up and score. Two blokes who normally play at 10, combining brilliantly with a forward in the middle of it, Rekha Naguni as well, and Bath have the try. Play back in, Danny. Danny Cipriani breaking out of defence, now he sees a gap. Cipriani gets it back inside, lovely little one-two, a punch chance here, Cipriani darting for the corner, Robson is quicker than him, Cipriani kicks it back, this time for Velikot, if he can gather and score, it'll be a brilliant try! All created by Zanny Cipriani's eye on the gap, Gloucester find themselves straight back into this one. Bigger, so, an agonal ball, Allender in pursuit, but won by Dunstone, and good hands to Holmes, and back in for Ben Youngs, and how he will enjoy this moment. Great counter-attack from Leicester, but Northampton only themselves to blame, messy ball presentation in two or three breakdowns, and Harry Malander challenges for the ball, loses out to Thompson, out the back of the hand, and Northampton have burned all their cover. On the far side, trying to organise another kick. Great play from Ben Youngs to support on the inside. Cut once more, and Witten was up quickly. Forces the mistake, and Slade charging away. It's Slade against Cook, a despairing dive. And now he's going to try and beat Atkins as well. Atkins gets across and does brilliantly, but still the danger's there. Kvesic, surely they have to score if they open it to the right-hand side. And now it's Witten once more, and, oh, Bat's defence has got across somehow! But then Jack Knowles slides in. And that's the end of the debate. Pushing it against the wind, oh, hang on, hang on! They may well have scored the most extraordinary try! It wouldn't have been intended. I've never seen anything like that in my life.